Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and it's another back from the boot fair and what a boot fair it was. It was absolutely mind-blowingly good. I had no expectations whatsoever because it's right at the end of the season. I filmed a bit of footage and you'll see that it was completely dark, it was foggy, like pea soup, you couldn't see anything in front of you. But I've ended up coming away, well, I took 350 quid with me. I pretty much spent the lot it was um and and some i would say um so i'm going to flip round first of all we're going to i'm going to show you the uh, brief bit of footage from the boot fair so the fog and the dark and then there's a little bit of me walking around which is sort of somewhat you know a bit interesting i, I look back on it i've managed to film someone's pants unfortunately um but there we go brucey bonuses um and then after that i'll get straight into the hall no, this isn't out of focus. This is about 10 to 6 on St Helier, a little bit of greenery area, and a mist has descended. It was 100 years ago to this very day that a fog descended upon the Rose Hill Boot Fair. I better get out of the way. I'm going to get killed here if I'm not careful. Um, yeah, early morning boot fair, completely dark and misty there's some shadowy figures in the distance and probably about two rows of cars so um who knows we may find some rarities or um we may not but i'll get the camera out again when you can actually see something because it's completely absolutely ridiculous there's a cafe over there i wouldn't mind having a a bit of a full English in there, but um, yeah, fingers crossed we get something good. I've come out without the trolley today. I'm just bag man, so um, I'm travelling light because, uh, well, really, I don't plan on getting anything that major, but we will see. Thought I'd do a little bit of filming because I don't often. Oh, some combis there. I'll have a look at those in a minute. But uh, it's been a really, really good boot fair. Um, surprising because it is end of season but it's absolutely packed it's, the mist is still here which is a bit crazy but um, yeah I mean I won't film going around every stall but uh, I've got some nice bits to show later so yeah really pleased I'll just run up here and get an idea of a few bits and bobs obviously office clearance stuff I would imagine um, this is all clearance guys well, I'm going to have a look at those combis now, see how much they are. If they're uh, five or ten quid, I might be interested. Well, here it all is. A lot of computery stuff. And lots of old vintage. Some more kind of like modern day stuff. No, no, well, I've got a pair of boots, but let's get through. But the first thing I'm going to show is this rather lovely Hot Wheel car. Um, and I got this, I was hunting around, um, Master of Pieces Ian is doing a Hot Wheels race on his channel. And uh, I think Ricky Lee's involved in it and a few other people. Um, so yeah, that's going to be interesting. I'm not sure, I think we're sending these off and he's going to race them down a track or something. So that will be coming coming up in the next sort of like week or two, I imagine. So watch out for that one on Master of Pieces. Um, that was 50p. Hunting around the whole boot fair for that. Now, the first thing I got, got in there straight away and um a guy i know was looking over this box and i thought oh spectrums you know what i'm like with the spectrum and uh asked him if he was going to get it and he'd already bagged uh some game boy stuff so he wasn't interested in this i've got it i've absolutely no idea what's in it well i've got a little idea what's in here but i haven't been through the whole lot um it was 120 tried to get it for 100 uh, no dice it was early doors yeah like i say i got in there been in there about two minutes um so i just thought i'm having it let's go for it so with it came this box of games so we'll just go through these so these games won't be worth much to anyone um i think i've already got that one but i like i do like sort of collecting the old um spectrum games and if i get doubles i uh yeah, we'll sell them on. Oh, Trapdoor. I actually had that game. That was a good game, actually. Good good graphics. So it looks pretty, pretty standard stuff. 
what's this? Oh, hello. That's a, just a little joystick um, interface. Oh, another one here. What's this? That is a cheetah uh, interface, cheetah joysticks. So these joystick interfaces, this one DK Tronics, I imagine they're going to be sort of like 15 to 20 quid each. So that's not bad for a start, you know, 45 quid. Uh, what's this? Something for the Amstrad. So there's some Amstrad stuff here as well. So let's go through this together because I, I, this is what caught my eye. Spectrum Plus 2 in black. Uh, first off, it came out in grey. I, I had a grey one. Before that, I had a rubber keyboard um, Spectrum 48K. So there's that. Be very careful not to break anything. Oh, now, this is interesting. Even though it's just cardboard, I do love Atari, Atari 2600 stuff. Um, I had an Atari 2600. So I, I've got a lot of the uh, cartridges, but I have not got... I think I've got one game that has the box. So to get these is fantastic. I don't have that game. I've never heard of that game. I might have that game. I might have that game. I don't think I'd look at the... It probably cost about 30 quid. No, 17 quid. I'm sure they were 30 quid when I first got them. I've got that game, got about four copies of that game. So that is just fantastic to get sort of stuff like that. Um, a, a data set unit, a cassette unit for the Commodore. Pretty standard. I've got loads of those. I'll have to sell some. This is interesting. A, a Spectrum catalogue, June 1983 edition, horoscope skiing, classic game. Played all, we well, haven't played this stuff. Small business accounts, that sounds a bit boring. But played Flight, flight Simulation, Hungry Horace, and I'm sure there's lots of other goodies in there. So I think I'll probably sell that. Um, right, let's go through. A joystick. That won't be worth uh, a quick shot joystick. That really won't be worth much. Uh, maybe five to ten. Um, hello, there's some small spectrum stuff there. Another bit of software. I've never heard of that. A cassette player might be handy for uh, loading up some of these games and testing them out. So um, I should have a good cassette player, but I haven't. Okay, it's, it's always a worry buying, you know, big crates of stuff like this because you kind of think, oh yeah, this is a fantastic buy, but then sometimes you go through it and it's like not. So a joystick there, but yeah, definitely so far so good. Uh, the Spectrum Plus 2, I don't know the value. I'm sure it's around about sort of 70 ish. So, rubber key, two rubber key spectrums. That is nice. Good condition as well. I've, I've got one on my shelf and it's not in good condition. It does work though, which is always a bonus. So, that is lovely. Um, a master system. Again, I imagine that's going to be around the 2025 sort of area. The Spectrums, I don't know really. Um, maybe 50, 60, 70. Loads more software in here. So that looks like, yeah, for the Commodore. A mix of Commodore, Amstrad and Specky stuff. Now what we've got in here, we've got a power thing at looks similar to a spectrum power supply but i don't think it is oh hello now this was brought out a few years ago and i think it's it's like i've uh, got loads of games that were on the spectrum so i guess it's like a usb plug-in thing so that'd be fun to stick in and play and then we've got a load of amstrad module one I think it might be something to run a Amstrad 464 straight into a television. That is my guess. There's a, there's a module one. My God. Uh, there's a module two, maybe a similar sort of thing. Uh, the power supply for the Spectrum Plus Two. This is going to be fun, I'm untangling all of this. Um, a, another power supply, which I don't know what that is. And another 
and Shred Module 1. Um, I think these go for around about 30, 40 quid each. So that's not too bad. Um, and then that is a power supply for a Spectrum. So, yeah, not bad at all, really. I mean, lots of stuff I'm really, really interested in and will have great fun sort of turning on and seeing what it does. Um, on to, let's do all the stuff down here first and then we'll move up. Uh, but this is a silver PS2. Uh, two controllers, they didn't look in great condition. Um, but this cost, he wanted 25. I thought that was a little bit much considering, you know, I may turn this on and it may not work. And, you know, you can see these controllers aren't in the best shape. Um, I paid, I, I offered 20, um, I paid 23. I don't think it's too bad because it has got the box, um, but it is, does need a clean, does need a test. Fingers crossed it is going to work. Um, but nice to have the box, definitely nice to have the box. Um, this is an Amstrad monitor. It was from the same guy who was selling all this stuff. He had an Amstrad monitor and an old um, Amstrad white computer um i know this is for the 464 i think it might be a green screen one i had one of these before which i actually bought with happy chap and i think it was slightly bigger and had a handle from what i remember um this is a gt65 that costs a tenner i'm hoping at some point i'll just pick up the keyboard and be able to stick to the two together and of course i could now stick it with these because these enable you to plug it into the telly so that's good as if they work um, the motorcycle boots is actually the last thing I bought at the boot fair. Um, asked the lady on the stall how much they were. She said 50 quid. Uh, walked away, came back, you know, did it, went around a couple of stalls, came back and asked the bloke how much they were. And he said they were 40 quid. Um, he, he kind of was saying he, he'd had a lot of people very interested. I offered him 20. He said no. Um, and then I went back and said, oh, look, we're doing for 35. So I've gone for 35. Um, I had, did have a quick look online and um, they can be kind of 80, 90. Uh, so um, I think can be lower as well. So 40 is a bit of a risk, but um, sorry, 50 is a bit of a risk. But, you know, 35, if I can get 90 on it, you know, maybe a bit more because they are in cracking condition. Um, that would be really good. That would be a good buy. Um, this little one, it was while I was hunting around for a, a Hot Wheels, I just saw this on the floor. And, you know, the first thing I saw was, I mean, look at it, look at it. It's got, got funky dust all over it. That and that. So PS1, PS2, facts. And I kind of thought, well, I might be interested in those. But this is what got my interest. Game GameCube. For starters, Zelda for you know, next next thing that got me going, and it was in there. Um, I think I did have a look at how, if it was scratched up. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks in great condition, no scratches. So it just needs a bit of a clean. Um, so that was in there, um, and then just some. PS2 game, good games, you know, Vice City, San Andreas, I'll make a nice little bundle if I sell one of, one of these consoles, um, some British game, The Warriors, I don't know, I assume it's not really worth a lot, but who knows, I might be wrong, and a DVD, a Nokia power supply, and um, a micro USB charge cable, which is never goes amiss, that whole lot, that, that, PS1, PS2, all the games, cost well she wanted a tenner which is a very good price this case is a little bit knackered um i got it for seven quid i've looked up this uh, and this goes i would assume with a nice looking case goes for around about 40 maybe 50 so that's not all bad um up here i've got some dyson accessories so these heads go well i've got the instructions as well for some reason a little weird bendy nozzle attachment which will probably be hanging around for ages and and this as well and there's a little brush thing that's fallen down the back of the chest of drawers as they do 
Um, which is probably for like upholstery or stairs or something. Um, that little lot cost me a fiver. Uh, up here, look at this, it's a bit of a weird one. So, um, this <laughs> rather beat up, you know, sorry, looking very sorry for itself. Someone's had a right old go at it. I don't quite know what they've been doing, but they've knackered the AC adapter, so I can't, won't be able to plug it in. Put a, an RF lead in there, which when you look at an original one, it's not there. And uh, just generally beating it up. These two were freebies anyway. Um, so be if that works, that'd be good. But it'd be interesting whether I can sell that for just sort of like parts. You know, someone's really had a, a right good up go at that. Um, so that was free. This Wii U controller. DS Lite, black, and two down here, uh, DSi XL. So I've got a, a 3DS XL, which I bought the other week. Um, those four things, plus this game, which is Brothers in Arms. Nothing incredible, I don't think. Um, guy came up and he wanted 150 for those. That's a little bit much, isn't it? Um, so I went through the prices one by one and sort of said it would be a fiver for that. Um, maybe, and he said, oh no, it would be a tenner for that. Um, I don't know what we said on these. I'm trying to sell one of these for 50 quid, but this is a little bit up and of course it's got to work. I got the all four for 60 so hopefully that's okay like i say i haven't sold these um dsi xls so um we will wait and see may have paid up a little bit on that but we will see how it goes certainly better than paying 150 that's for sure um and on to another thing that was like expensive and a lot of people were sort of skipping past another wii u um the same guy sold me this camera for a fiver. Missing the eyepiece, but it's a, a Sony hand cam video A. It's got the charger with it, which is handy. I've probably sell the charger for about 20 quid. Um, it may well go, spares and repairs, but it's missing the rubber eyepiece. So, but for a fiver, can't argue. So, he had that for a fiver, which is absolutely like a cracking deal, I think. Um, but he was selling this and it's a Wii U, okay, so it's a Wii U and it's got two Motion Plus controllers, it's got a couple of microphones, two nunchucks, uh, some games there, nothing nothing amazing. Uh, it's got the Wii Fit board, um, you know, got the, got the controllers, it's quite good that he did all this and guess how much he wanted? He wanted that! And um, he wasn't budging and the strange thing was, I was speaking to a lot of other guys who had gone up to him and, and was offering him and we were all offering him 60 quid it's like yeah do it for 60 and it's quite a difficult one really because um these motion plus controllers do go well i've been informed um and they do if you stick them with a nunchuck you're looking at around 30 quid so there's two of those two nunchucks that's, that's sort of 60 quid back straight away the wii fit board maybe 25 after christmas maybe more who knows you know in the new year and so you pretty much cleared your money and then you still got the Wii U left, which is kind of always nice. Um, but just 80 just seemed that little bit too much. And after a, a, a long time going back, probably about five times, um, he sold it to me for 70. So I was kind of happy with that. So it's really on full on today, like getting loads and loads of stuff. And there is a DS game in there, which... Um, which I don't think is here, but I don't think it's, it's that amazing. A um, couple of wireless SingStar mics, which are always nice. Uh, they will go for 25 upwards, I think. Uh, it's got the dongle in there, or the little kind of uh, wireless receiver. They were two quid, um, which is a real bonus. And like the, this is the business, isn't it? This is the business. I'm doing a separate video on this, but this Vectrex unit, is like 
proper old school arcade machine and it's so nice it's got two controllers in there um and it's got the plastic sheets basically you you play like um asteroids or something in there but you have a plastic sheet which like gives it the color um so i can't get it out but like i say i will be doing a separate video on on that um it will sell for quite a bit of money on ebay i mean we i think we're talking possibly three four hundred something like that um but of course you've got the worry about sending what is basically a, a crt television um and a lot of them go to the states as well so i'm just going to be like looking after this and and you know fostering it for a while um and and giving it a good test um but yeah, really, really pleased to get that one. So that is it for today. A lot of money spent, um, but a lot of stuff got. I've just got to start listing some of it now. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed today. It was totally unexpected that I was going to get all that stuff and uh, basically fill the car right up, uh, especially when I went out and it was dark and foggy. Uh, if you did like it, please do click the thumbs up. It helps the channel enormously, so I'm always appreciate if you do click the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, like I say, I try and do you know, this sort of content. And on Monday, I do like an hour live where we try and get some things listed on eBay. Because the key to eBay really is if you want more sales, you just got to list consistently. Um, I talk with other resellers uh, when I go to the boot fairs. And the ones that are doing really well are the ones that are just like cranking out listings every day. You know, minimum amounts or set, set your amounts. And... Uh, I, I know you have to do that. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I fall off the wagon. But, you know, that is the key to it. Anyway, for now, take care. Hope to see you soon. And, uh, yeah, take it easy.